Thank you. I would like to focus this uh, morning on uh, a couple of concepts on the purpose of, of human rights. I think it's very important that we, we found our basis on human rights on, on, on certain concepts. And, um, and the word is dignity. All human beings are born free and equal in dignity. And for me, this is the, the basis, the foundation of our un understanding of, of human rights. If we don't understand that word, I think we will start to violate other people's rights. So what is the purpose of human rights? Uh, well, there are three things in the preamble, uh, in the preface or, or the introduction of human rights when, when you read it. It's basically freedom, justice, and peace. Those three words are the foundation of our understanding of human rights. What are they for? Yeah, you and I, we should be able to live in pe peace, of course. But we should have also a very just and fair situation to live in. But we should also have freedom. Mm -hmm. And the concept for this, these talks is uh, human rights and identity. And in order for us to be able to, be, to have our identity freely, we need to have these things. We need to have freedom. We need to have justice, and we need to have peace, meaning that we have peaceful relationship with one, one another. But I would like to focus on, on the uh, concept of dignity, which in fact we have missed in our Swedish translation. It's quite interesting that, that the most nation I have Googled on, they have translated dignity with dignity, but not in Sweden we had translated it värde, which is not the same thing as värdighet, dignity. And this concept of dignity, I think, is one of the most important things for us to understand. What is it? Is it a theoretical word? No, it's a very practical word. It means how you and I are treating each other. How can we live together only by tolerance? I don't think so. We need to learn to respect each other. We need to learn to, to view uh, each other as human beings with dignity. And for me, this word is uh, the key word in, the, in our understanding of human rights. And we have actually missed that in our Swedish translation. We have put only for us that we are of equal value. Of course we are of equal value, but we are of equal dignity, which is the basic of our understanding of human rights. And equal dignity, it's, it's very interesting to, to just, just think about it. No matter who you are, if you are rich or poor, if you are a woman or a man, if you're a boy or a girl, if you're straight or gay, if you come from a so-called fine family, if you own property, what kind of skin color you have, doesn't matter. If you are impaired or not, no matter who you are, no matter who, who your parents were, the thing is, you and I, we have the same dignity. And I think that's the key of our understanding of human rights. Basic, basically, that we have the same dignity. Now th some other aspects also in, in, in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. The Article 1 states that we are, we are born free and equal in dignity. And it also states that we are connected in brotherhood. Of course, this is an, it's an old, um, not gender-neutral word, brotherhood. I think we have a better word in Swedish, syskonskap. Uh, we should maybe introduce that in English, siblinghood. Uh, meaning that we are connected, we are one. 
We are not only friends in the world, but we are connected together. We are, we are one race, one human race. So I think this is a very big or great pro provocation 1948 when we talk about that all humans are connected in brotherhood, in siblinghood, in syskoskap. And this means, Article 2, that we cannot discriminate each other. So if we need to summarize human rights, we, not, we need to learn to understand Article 1, that we are born free and equal in dignity, that we are connected in brotherhood. Article 2, that those rights and freedoms we proclaim, they are for all people, no matter what. And Article 30, we have responsibility to each other that my freedom should not violate your freedom. One last example. I think some people have mis misunderstood the, the, uh, the um, uh, concept of freedom of speech. Concept of freedom of speech within human rights is to make world, the world better, not worse. That we should be able to live in freedom, in justice, and in, in, in peace. And there I find the foundation of human rights. And when we go to the question of identity, how can I form my identity? Yes, by regarding myself as a part of this world, and I can form my identity not from power from other people, not by subordination from others, but just reclaiming that I'm as much worth in dignity as the rest of us. So these, are these three things are the basic foundation for me about human rights. Thank you.